Welcome to Potion Explosion, a set collecting family game of colliding marbles, magical potions and quick competition. This game stood out to me as I had a strong love-hate playing experience and hence decided to analyse my experience in order to find out the reasoning behind why I felt this way. While collecting marbles to complete my potions, I felt a strong sense of frustration. However, the satisfaction of completing potions dragged me right back in. As a family game, the rules and setup are quite simple, allowing players of all skill levels to enjoy the game whether or not they choose to dive into the more complex strategies also provided. However, I did find it a bit overwhelming at first. Opening the box, we were faced with many pieces which had me in a state of confusion. It was at this point which I realised, having someone who has previous experience in the game helping the new players makes the game a much more enjoyable process, rather than everyone trying to scramble to figure out the rules and learn how to play as you go along. Potion Explosion classifies as a Euro game. Structured on a point-based system, it minimises conflicts and competitive strategy. Whilst players do strategise, it is more so done individually, every man for himself as they compete for resources or points. There is no elimination and stories are kept minimal. The story of Potion Explosion provides just enough to give you a reason to play the game, rather than developing a world and characters around it. As an avid Harry Potter fan with a love of magic and potions, the theme had me intrigued at first, however I found that the lack of a storyline was what lost me during the game. Through this experience, I have come to realise I am much more drawn to war games, Ameritrash and role playing games. Potion Explosion as a game has many meritable points, such as the use of popular game mechanics like drafting and set collecting, the fun potion designs and an easily comprehensible theme which appeals to all ages. However, for all the things it does well, I still found it was lacking in some aspects which led me to not want to play a second game. This of course is my own personal experience. As some of the people I was playing with thoroughly enjoyed this game, I found that the elements I did not like were often the elements that made the game more enjoyable for them. As someone who is accustomed to games such as chess and Cluedo and role playing games like World of Warcraft, the lack of roles and interaction in this game was the point that lost me early on. The experience to me is not as immersive as role playing based games. Although the game has multiple players, you are essentially playing individually as there are no teams and no direct interaction or competition. Though there were many things that I did love about this game, including the design and theme, unfortunately I don't see myself returning to this game anytime in the near future.